Okay. All right. Good morning again, ladies. For the so we're going to look at a recap of the theories of migration between the land bridge theory and the ice bridge theory. Which student want to tell us about the land bridge theory? Anyone? The land bridge theory. Gabriel Morgan. So ladies, uh, in, for yesterday's class, what we would have done is that we look where we located the area where is the Americas. Uh, anyone want to share, give a definition of the Americas? Christina. Um, oh. Christina? The Americas is also known as the Western Hemisphere. All right, great. Thank you very much. So the Americas is known as the Western Hemisphere. And it's which territory, which is, is that Kalisa? Kalisa, which, which regions are included within this, the Americas? Um, North America, Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And so we would have gone through locating the Americans and we would have stated that the first group of people to settled in the Americas, they were called the indigenous people. What are the other names for the indigenous people? Pre-Columbian India, Indians. Pre Columbian right. Indians, you have Native Americans, you have Native Indians. Um, Amerindians. Amerindians, yes, you, you are correct. All right, so these are some of the names, as you have said, pre Columbian, Native Americans, Native Indians, Amerindians, and we are very much familiar with these terms. The and then we went on to look at the migration of these people. Where did they came from? Anyone? Where did they came from? The, the pre-Columbian people. The in Asia. They came from Asia. Where any other name that that location is known by? Siberia. Siberia. Any other name? Modern day Russia. It's modern day Russia. Any other? You are correct. Everyone is correct. And they, repeat. Mongolia. Yes, Mongolia. All right. So the so what we have seen is that they came from that era. How did they came to the Americas? By crossing the Bering Strait. They crossed in the Bering Strait. What the Bering Strait looks like today? A bridge. Water. It, it is, oh, today. It, today, yes. Today water. it is a body of water. All right. So we know about the Bering Strait. So, we, uh, so they crossed the Bering Strait. What are the different views out there about the Bering Strait? The land bridge and the ice bridge. So we have the land bridge and the ice bridge. What is the ice bridge? It said that the bear state was frozen, frozen and formed a bridge. 
and so it they were able to cross all right and the ice the land bridge they followed her it was a piece of land that sank repeat was a strip of land that joined mm. north america and asia all right very good the part of north america that that the land joins what is that area called today alaska alaska very very much all right very well ladies so so we looked at some so these are the theories of migration there are two theories out there and we would have gone through the theories the land bridge the land bridge and the ice bridge theory and there are some very important facts what happened when did they cross because remember when we're asking these questions we have to ask what when how and why when did they cross when they were running out of food running out of food very well during what time sir the ice age. age during the ice age so they were running out of food why because they were frozen due to the ice age all right very very well all right so so these are some of the things that we would have covered yesterday so one of the thing ladies is that the groups of groups of people that came across the Bering Strait, they came at different times during the Ice Age. They came at different times during the Ice Age. Another popular question on the CXC is, is that they would have followed who? Or followed what? Animals. Yes, they would have followed animals across. And so each, the first is that they came at different times during the ice age. Another thing, ladies, is that they settled at various places in the Americas. They didn't just settle one place. Some settled in North America, some settled in South America. Some so, so they were like nomads? Yes, that's another name for them, nomads. They settled all over, all over the Americas they settled. Some settled in North, South, as far as South America. Today, we're, that, today that is a place that is called Peru. In South America, I believe Peru is along this side here. In South America, that's how far they would have settled. And clearly, if they are coming down from Asia, they would have walked down. And then they start to venture into the Caribbean, right? It's a long walk. It is a long walk. But remember, it would have happened over a long period of time. Mm. It's not just one day, they just get up and walk. During the ice age, you walk, some, some say, all right, where should we go? Just imagine yourself as being, you know, just imagine yourself as... Homeless? No, you wouldn't say homeless. Remember, they were hunters, right? All right, so just Im imagine that you're a hunter, you're following the animals, you want food, and... Each of you come at different times. So for example, which student is talking right now? Give me a name. Who, me, sir? Yes, yes. Yannick. Yannick. All right, Yannick. So Yannick, say, say for example, all of, we lived in Asia at the time. Uh, we crossed the Bering Strait, both of us walking, walking with, following the herds up there with other people. And say so we reach about right here. And I said, Yannick, which direction we should go? And he said, 
go go east. And I say, all right, I'm, let us go east. And so we go east right here. And then Kalisa and Gabriel come in another group. And, and Kalisa said to Gabriel, where should we go? To, you know, we, the herd, we are following the herd. What we should do? And then Kalisa said, no, man, let us continue walking. The herds are continuing to walk. The land looks nice. So listen, let us continue to walk. And so each group of people is going to come at different time. And the truth is that once you have, say for instance, I am here. I am here, still going east. And then Kalisa and Gabriel reach about right here. And then we meet up right here. And then both of us said, no, but I was here first. You was here first. And we in problem. So we it starts a war? It is going to it is going to have conflict, and so other people are going to move along, just like biblical stories in in the Bible, where you remember there's a story in the Bible with, uh, I think Abraham, Jericho. not Jericho. It's Abraham. Abraham. Yes, Abraham. Abraham and Lot. Yeah, when they yes, had sir, the, yes, sir. the different lands and they said and go the, over this side. And, yes, yeah. and Abraham and Lot, very good. And so we know the story that Abraham, both of them were trying to find the promised land. And not really, well, trying to find the land that was promised to them. And so Abraham and both, both of them start to have problem over who for sheep is this from who for goat is this and problem over all of these and so they said all right let us separate and they separate and so you're going to have it things like this would have happened as they cross all right ladies so so we know for sure that they came at different times during the ice age and they settled at various places in the americas and once you settle in, once you have different settlements in the Americas, you're going to develop your own culture. So for example, some group is going to do some things differently from the other groups or from the other settlements. So I'm going to have a different political system, different way in which they choose leaders. Some based on where they locate, you're going to have different economic activity. So for example, one place you go and need the economic activity could be that, all right, based on how the land is situated or the, how fertile the land is, all right, we're going to do planting. We're going to plant corns. Another one going to say, all right, we can't plant corns here. We can plant tobacco. You get what I'm saying? So you're going to have different settlement patterns within the Americas. And the point I want to make out, another point I want to, to emphasize is that they were civilized people. They were not uncivilized. There's no such, there's no group in history that is uncivilized. All groups of people are civilized people. Their civilizations were civilize there's such a if there's such a thing and then the next thing as i would have mentioned the story about people the different groups crossing at different times and if you look at my cursor and they meet around right here you'll see that they would have interacted with each other and even first groups that settled in north america and groups that settled in Central America and South America, Caribbean, they, these groups of people at times would have uh, interact with each other somehow and somehow. This is what archaeologists are telling us today, that there was interaction, some level of interaction between the groups. All right? So, our 
we are studying the Caribbean. And so my question is, where is the Caribbean? Where is the Caribbean? Because our main focus now is on the Caribbean. Where is the Caribbean? Anyone? It's not a right Between or the wrong. Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean. Between the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Anyone else? Sir, in between the tip of Florida and Colombia. Between the tip of Florida and Colombia. Very well. Anyone else? How would you define the Caribbean? The Caribbean is very difficult to define. Anyone else? If someone should ask you, where is the Caribbean? How, what would you... Sterling. A part of the Western Hemisphere? It's, it's a part of the Western Hemisphere. You're correct. All right. So, so ladies, what we're seeing here is I'm going to give a definition. All right. So the Caribbean, the first thing is that defining the Caribbean is very controversial. Very controversial. Because there are islands in the Caribbean. So for example, Caribbean islands include Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman, the Bahamas, Turks, the island of Hispaniola, which makes up of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Right down here, you have Trinidad, Grenada, St. Lucia, Barbados, which is right here. Guadalupe, all of these islands are considered to be part of the Caribbean. But there are two territories, ladies, that are also considered to be part of the Caribbean. And these territories are Belize and Belize, not two territories. There are two mainland territories that are also considered to be part of the Caribbean that we are going to study for this course, all right? And it's Belize, which is located somewhere along here. I thought that I had a better. All right, Belize and also Guyana, which is located a little over this, all right? So I'm going to share, I'm going to stop share and I'm going to bring up a map of the Caribbean just to show you the territories that I'm looking for. I thought that I had put it in the slide, all right? All right, ladies, so I just want to show you. So all of these islands are considered to be part of the Caribbean that is colored in yellow. Belize, which is located here, it's in Central America, sit on Central America, but it is considered to be a Caribbean territory. Same thing with Guyana, which locates in South America, is also considered to be a Caribbean territory. So for history that we're studying what we're going to study is that we're going to study all of these islands as part of the caribbean islands that sits uh within at the 
washed by the Caribbean Sea and also mainland territories such as Belize and Ghana, which is considered to be mainland Caribbean territory. All right. So a recap. Where is it? Uh, Lorraine, Rene Lorraine. Which two territories are we? Mainland territories are considered to be part of the Caribbean. Belize and Guyana. Belize and Guyana. Very good. Now, Belize was once called British Honduras. Belize was called British Honduras. And Guyana was called British Guyana. All right? So we are going to study these territories. In fact, for this area that you're seeing my cursor, we're going to look at slave revolt. So when we're doing slave uh, resistance and revolt, we are going to look at some slave revolt taking place. So we have an idea of the areas that we are going to study. Now, my, the thing now, ladies, is that we need to know which group of people lived within this area. The group of people that lived within on these islands, lived in Belize, lived in Guyana. So are you talking about that long time ago or are you talking now? Long time ago. The, the Tainos? Yes. Arawak? Dave, no. why, why you use the word Arawak? Sir, because that's why I remember in grade, in grade six. All right. You're, you're correct. You're very correct. The Aztecs. The Aztecs. We, where the Aztecs would have lived. You're correct. They, they, they might not live in the Caribbean, but they surely were another group of indigenous people. Sir. Mm -hmm. The Mayans. The Mayans, yes. And we're so the Caribs. The, okay, you are correct. You're you're all correct. So those all of those are names of various groups or settled settlement or indigenous peoples that will have lived in the Caribbean. One second, ladies. You're not seeing my screen, correct? No, we're not. Are you seeing it now? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, good. Okay, so we know for sure that the the three groups of people that were that lived within the Caribbean were the Tainos, or some people pronounce it the Tainos. Now, growing up, or in grade six, and I believe they need to stop this in grade six, somebody need to go into the classrooms in grade six and tell the teachers that the name of the people is not Arawak. They did that when I was going to school. I thought that they would have changed that part of the the syllabus, they are not Arawak, they are called Tainos. Sir, but you know, if you look on Google, like it says another name for the Tainos are our Arawaks. Y yes, you'll see that on Google, but remember that in, re all right, so you'll see that on Google, but the correct name for them is Taino. They are not Arawaks. The same thing for Kalinagos. They, 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 they said that the Caribs were, they, they used to call them Caribs. It was the Europeans who called, when the Europeans came, they called them Caribs. And they actually call them Caribs because they say that they were cannibals. Oh. Our group of people must call themselves cannibals. How? Excuse yeah. me, sir. Go what? ahead. Is it Kalinagos or Kali? Uh, it is Kalinagos. Okay, thank you. Kalinagos. So, sir, 
Sir, the word Arawaks is also a given name by the Europeans to the Tainers? No, it wasn't a given name. So like Caribs was a given name for the, they gave the Kalinagos that name, but the Taino, when they, so when Columbus came and he met the Tainos, they spoke a language that is called Arawakan. So their mm -hmm. so the, so their language, the name of their language was Arawakan. So the the, the Europeans say, all right, your language is Arawakan, so you're Arawaks. And never I never asked them and say, all right, so what is the what you people are called? It's like somebody come to to your school and ask, all right, look at you and said and hear you look at your uniform and say, okay, you look like a school. And they just say school. But what is the name of your school? I know, and maybe that's not a good example, but you understand what I'm trying to say, right? So, yes, sir. Right, so the, the, so, our, so the language, both the Kalinagos, both the Kalinagos, and the Taino, the language that they spoke was Arawakan. That was the name of their, the language. But however, their name, their different name were Tainos or Tainos, two pronunciation and the two pronunciations are correct. And then the other group of indigenous people that live within the Caribbean is the Mayas. Now, a student would have mentioned about the Aztecs, though the Aztecs, they, they are not in the space that we are studying. They would have lived here in South America, on the western part of South America. That's where the Aztecs would have lived. Where you're seeing my cursor, that's where they would have lived. And you have several other groups. You have another group that live in North America, several different groups that live in North America. Anybody used to watch Western movie or still does? So the black and white movies with the cowboys and the Indians? Yes. The cowboy. You know what that movie is talking about? Sir, the fact that the whites were trying to take away the land from the Indians? Yes. So you are correct. So the the the, 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 the whites are trying to take. So that is a movie depict, depicting when the Europeans came and trying to take away the land Sir. From, the, from, the, from the Indians, the indigenous people. Sir. Yes. So Pocahontas was like that too, right? I don't know the name of that one. It's a cartoon. <laughs> the cartoon? Yeah. Tell me about it. Sir, it's like this Indian girl. Mm -hmm. Like she's from North America. And these white people came to take gold and they're I think yeah, they've come to take gold from the um from America, but she mm -hmm. told them that there wasn't any and stuff like that. Yes, that is the exact thing that happened. I'm just realizing that's, that, that that I never meant that. Yeah, so so yeah, you are very much correct. So when the Europeans came, we don't reach the Europeans coming arrival as yet, but when they came, they saw gold and they are going to search for gold, right? And they are going to try to it's, it's all of these movies are based on history. And in fact, most of the persons who write movies or cartoons are historians. A lot of people don't know that. So the three groups that we are focusing on is the Tainos and the Kalinag, the, the Tainos or Tainos, Kalinagos and the Mayans. Ladies, as from today, we are no longer going to use the word Arawaks and we are no longer going to use the word Caribs. All right? So when you write, you don't use those words. Okay, sir. All right? Please do not use those words. Those words are not correct. Arawakan is the language 
for both the Tainos and the Kalinagos, but carb is us is a is a is a derogatory word that the European used to describe the Kalinag. So we know for sure, let me go a little bit. We know for sure that they would have crossed from Asia into North America, down into Central America, and they would have reached here in, here in South America. Now, how did they reach across into the Caribbean? This is into, into the, on the, in the, in the different islands. And so that is where we are going to, to look at. Another point, ladies, that I want you to know is that they would have settled all the, the people or the group of people that ventured into the Caribbean. They would have settled along the Orienco River. So this river is now located in a place called in, a, in Venezuela. Right here is now modern day Venezuela. And they settled along this river right here. The, some settled here, some settled here. These, all of this area is where they would have settled. And so what is going to happen is that they are going to move across. I don't know, archaeologists don't tell us the reason why they move across or why they decided to move across. But some of them would have still remained here but some of them would have moved to move across because the Trinidad. Really, yes, so they would have. Sir, moved. that's why a lot of Indians are in Trinidad. No, that's not what the reason. Oh. why a lot of Trini Indians in Trinidad. <laughs> so, sir, they would use um um Trinidad as a gateway to go up to the. Where could you go back? Uh huh. They would have used Trinidad as yes. Continue. You are making a very good point. I was saying that they could have used Trinidad as a gateway to venture up into the Caribbean. And I, heard, um, I read somewhere that, um, and you've been saying it, that the Kalinagos forced the Tainos out, so they had to venture further up. Yes. So, very good. So, guess what? The, both the Kalinagos and the Tainos, they, are the, they both came from this area. The, this area, the Orienco area, which is where the river is located. And so the first group, or the first set of people to settle in the Caribbean were the Tainos. And so you are through with this slide here? I'm going to come back to it. So the first group, ladies, would have been the Tainos, the first set of people to settle on some of the islands. They didn't settle on all the islands. So the Tainos, they came and they settled in Trinidad. Then they move, they, they take the canoe, which is a small little boat like. Well, the first thing is that they had to take a canoe to move from the, from the Orient Cup area to Trinidad. Then they move across the Grenada. Then they continue to move upward to the Caribbean. So at this point, Tainos lived in areas such as the Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, the island of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, Barbados, which is right here, Grenada, Trinidad. So they would have settled. They were the first group to settle all over the Caribbean. And then years later, not at the same time, years later, ladies, another group, which is from the same geographic location, start to venture into the Caribbean. And so the next group that started to venture is what they call it, what we, we, is the Kalinagos. And so they moved into Trinidad and they started to push, take over these islands. 
start to take over the islands, right up to Puerto Rico. And so that's one of the reasons why for the Caribbean today, ladies, we have the islands as always the location of, of the Caribbean, sorry, for the, for the settlement patterns in the Caribbean, you're going to realize, ladies, that in the Greater Antilles, and please write it down, in the Greater Antilles, which includes islands like Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, these main islands would have been settled largely by the Taino. Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, Jamaica. Settled by the Tainos, also the Bahamas. The islands of the Bahamas were also settled by the Tainos. Okay, so they settled along here. The Tainos would have settled along here. So when Columbus came, most of the people that, all right, all the indigenous people that lived on these islands were the Tainos. However, in the Lesser Antilles, which is right here, or the Eastern Caribbean, most of the people that lived within, within the Eastern Caribbean were the, most of the people that lived within the Eastern Caribbean were the Kalinagos. But I want to point out that in the Bar Barbados, I don't know if because Barbados is so Eastern, why the Kalinagos didn't go there to trouble the first people that would have lived on the islands, the Tainos. So Barbados, the group that lived on Barbados at the time of Christopher Columbus' arrival were the Tainos. So the Tainos lived here in Barbados. They lived in Cuba, Jamaica, the island of Hispaniola, some of the islands in the Bahamas, Puerto Rico. Those are where they would have lived. And also, guess what? In Trinidad and Tobago, which is like an entry point for them from the Orienco area, some of the Tainos lived in Trinidad. Some of them lived in Trinidad. So the Tainos ladies would have still, at the time when Columbus came, Tainos still lived in Trinidad and Tobago. Then how is it that Tainos still live in Trinidad and Tobago while the Kalinagos would have lived in, on, in Dominica, St. Vincent, and Grenada? Question. Why? How is it that they were able to maintain their settlement there? Anyone? You don't cross them up. Uh, anything that Thank you. Yannick? Sir, <laughs> sir, what you said before, like, because it was far out, so they didn't bother to go over there. For Trinidad, which is located here. Trinidad you're talking about? Yes, Trinidad, because remember, in, remember Trinidad, which is located right here. Trinidad, which is located right here. Trinidad was what we're... And so remember, all right, so the first thing, ladies, this is what I wanted to understand. Most of the islands, if not all of the islands, would have been settled by the Taino at first. Okay? And then another group came years after, and they tried to take over the Caribbean. So they would have taken over most of these islands if not all of these islands. But when Christopher Columbus came in 1492, Barbados was still, was still settled by the Taino 
and Trinidad, part of Trinidad was still settled by the Tainos. But if the Kalinagos would have used Trinidad as an entry point, and when they reach in that, they say, the Kalinagos, when they reach in that, they say, oh, wow, Tainos are living there. How is it that at the time when Christopher Columbus came, Tainos were still living there? Sir, they're probably hidden highlands. The hidden islands, Trinidad is an island. No, highlands like mountains. Oh, island like mountains and so, okay. All right, fair observation. Fair enough. Yeah, very fair. And that could have been a possibility. The truth is that Trinidad, half of the island was settled by the Tainos and half of the island was settled by the Kalinagos. The, the Tainos there would have put up quite a lot of resistance. Sir, um, probably the reason why they left the Tainos, in my mm. opinion, is because they didn't really want to stay at Trinidad. Yeah. So they were like, you know, just, just leave them here because it's not like we're going to stay here anyways. You understand? Yes. And, but you know, human nature, how it is already, human nature is that, listen, <laughs> we, we as human beings, once we see people in a spot, most time we just want to go and take over. And they wanted to take over the entire, the Kalinagos wanted to take over all the islands, the olive island of Trinidad, but they, they, they stood their ground, the Kalina. Sorry, the Tainos stood their ground. And so when Christopher Columbus came, the Tainos would have, on the island of Trinidad, both the Kalinagos and the Tainos would have lived on Trinidad. Or maybe they, they, they have a peace treaty. They could have a peace treaty. We don't know. So on this island of Trinidad here, which is located here, both the Tainos and the Kalinagos would have lived here. On Puerto Rico, half of the island of Puerto Rico, which is on the west of Puerto Rico, the Tainos would have lived on that part, and the Kalinagos would have lived on the east. Now, when Columbus came, there was a big war between the Kalinagos and the Tainos on the island of Puerto Rico, because the, Ta the Kalinagos, they were trying to take over the island of Puerto Rico and their aim was to try and take over all of the, these islands. But when Columbus came, they would have only able to take, to, to capture just half of Puerto Rico, the eastern part of Puerto Rico. So they were expanding the Kalinagos. So another thing is that another group of people, ladies, so we know, so we know where the islands are, where they are, they are settled. Ladies, this is very, very important, especially for the multiple choice. You need to know that in the Lesser Antilles, all of this area, who, would, who settled on which of the islands, whether the Tainos or the Kalinagos settled on which of the islands, same thing for this area right here, the Greater Antilles. Now, our next territory that we are looking at is Belize, a mainland territory. And in Belize, Belize have nothing to do with Tainos or Kalinagos. The Mayans would have settled in Belize. Another group. And they would have settled in Belize long before the Tainos and the the Kalinagos venture into the Caribbean. So Belize was where the Mayans lived. Now in Guyana, Guyana also had indigenous people living there. And some groups say that some people call them the Amerindians are the first people, are indigenous people. It could have been also that they were also the Arawakan people who well, we know that they spoke the Arawakan language. So the group of people that live both in 
it, live within Guyana would have been a group who are the ancestors of the Tainos and the Kalinagos. You are following what I'm saying, ladies? Any query, question? No, sir. All right, so. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Can you repeat that, what you just said a while ago? So, in, okay. So, for the Guyana, so the area of, in the, this area, the Guyana, so remember all of this area, all of this area that I'm pointing on, the Arawakan people, the, 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 the language that was spoken there by the indigenous people were the Arawakan language. Now, the Orienco River is along here. And so the Tainos would have moved from this area into the Caribbean. Then years later, their brothers and their sisters would have come after. And then once they start to venture in the Caribbean, they're going to take over some of the islands and they're going to have conflict between both groups, even though they are of the same descent, same ancestors. So I'm saying for the Ghanas here, I don't know the name of the people that would have lived within the Ghanas, what they would have called themselves. But we know for sure that they are the ancestors of both the Kalinagos and the Tainos. I answer that you answer your question? Yes, sir. All right, good, good. So ladies are, so that's it for our work. Sorry, that's it for our class today. So when we meet again, we are not, so we had a live class today. So what we're going to do is that on Monday, we're not going to have a live class. We're not having a live class on Monday. And so there's an assignment for you to complete on the Google Classroom. And you can complete that assignment. You can complete that assignment on the Google Classroom. Also remember ladies that the assignment, well, it, it is due on Saturday. I might extend it to Monday, all right? So you can use up until Monday. I'll extend it until Monday. So you have up until Monday to complete that assignment. And it is based on this lesson. The PowerPoint is on the Google Classroom. And also I'm going to post this, the recording for this class on the Google all right, ladies, enjoy the rest of the day. You too, sir. Same to you. Oh, thank you, sir. Same to you. Bye, sir. Bye-bye. Oh,